I just wanted to talk real quick about these connectors and why you'd want to have an assortment. Now, if you happen to go to any hamvention, any ham radio convention, you can pick these up for a few dollars. And what you need to do, my first Elmer, he took me to this little hamvention and he said, grab these guys, man, grab some, just grab a bunch of them. He's like, just grab them. He's like, just buy a bunch because you're going to need them. So my point is you're going to need an assortment of connectors. And most probably you're going to need PL259 to BNC. That's the ones that I use the most. And so what I went out to and did was I looked for, I've looked for some, uh, an assortment. I wanted an assortment because, you know, it's kind of expensive to buy these things on a need, on a need by need basis. So what you end up doing is when you have an assortment, you can kind of mix and match. And so for new hams, if you're already a ham, you've been a ham for a long time, you don't need to worry so much about this. You probably have a bunch of, bunch of connectors, but I'm just telling you right now, an assortment is a good thing to have, okay? And so one of the ones I use the most are things like this, where you have a PL259 cable and you need to go to BNC, right? And so you need to have this. And if you don't have this, some kind of an assortment, then you will be screwed out in the field. And so I have this little bag, I carry it with me, and I pretty much don't have to worry about it because I have this bag. So I purchased this on Amazon for about $29 recently. And I highly recommend that you get something, whether you get it at a Hamvention or you get it at Amazon, see the link in the description for this particular configuration. The problem with this con configuration is you kind of need two, because if you have a cable, you're gonna need a con you're gonna need to convert both ends of the con cable. You have a PL259, you're gonna need to convert it from this to BNC and then back to BNC, okay? So you need to think about your needs, but I'm, I highly recommend that you go out and get an assortment. Um, one of the things you're going to need, of course it depends on what you're doing. Most often I'm with two, PL259, but check, check this out. This right here is a connector for SMA. So this guy I purchased separately and I can do SMA to BNC. That's why you need an assortment because everything is a little bit different than you think. So this is exactly reverse. My Baofeng is exactly reverse of this. This is like a male and this is like a female. So you need something totally different. That's why this, this would connect on here. Then you can connect this to your uh, cable in your car, you know, and have an external antenna in your car or PL259 or this is BNC. Then I got my little rubber ducky, right? This one exactly opposite. That's why I had to buy a specialized rubber duck for this. Or I could convert it. I think maybe something like this would convert in my assortment. See, now for example, this would be SMA to my Baofeng right here. This assortment right here. Then I could put PL259 on here and go out to my car and I'm fine, right? That's why you need an assortment, exactly right like that. An assortment gives you power to mix and match, especially when you're out in the field. So most often I'm gonna do, like I said, PL259 to, now this is a regular coax cable. This is kind of problematic and some of these things I don't really need. Like, what is that? I don't even know what that is, that's so tiny. What is that? But for the most part, an assortment will give you PL259 to PL259, and you need that when you're out in the field, just in case. So this is a recommendation. I'll put a link in the description for this particular device. And you can buy these separately, you know, if you want to, you can buy whatever you need. You can buy it bit by bit, but there's nothing worse than getting out in the field and not having a connector and needing a connector. That's why I like to have a bunch of connectors so you may have seen in my videos, I carry this around. These are all new to me. I carry a bag of these around just for when you never quite know. Notice that most of these, see this is BNC to BNC. For example, I could do something like that to something like that. And then, you know, anything you want to do, I have the ability to do it out in the field. And so what ends up happening is you have this cable, right? 
but you have a radio that only takes B and C. So what do I have? I have these connectors. I have a plethora of these connectors, probably my most used connectors, PL259 to B and C. And that's why you kind of need to double up. You need two, two of everything. That's why, you know, I can use this 40 foot cable and use it on my QRP radio. My only point is get a lot of connectors. If you are a new ham, you need to have lots of them because you never know when you forget this or that.